Today we are talking about the Great Depression. The Great Depression in the United States was one of the greatest economic crises that have historically affected the economies of industrialized countries and undoubtedly had economic, political and social consequences, from which the country took some time to recover because of the social gap caused by the crisis meant that middle class, which always sustained the economy of a country, was so affected that it almost disappeared. In an effort by the government to improve the living conditions of the people who work in the fields, many photographers like Dorothea Lynch had the task of capturing and documenting the real circumstances and environment in which people who work in these fields lived, and so take the necessary measures to improve the quality of life of these people. The photographs also serve to show the people, culture and landscapes of that time. Why the project has a significant impact on the society? The Farm Security Administration Office of War Information Photograph Collection contains photographs which showcase American life between 1935 and 1944. The project started as a documentation for cash loans made to the farmers by the Resettlement Administration and the development of suburban settlements. Later, it expanded to accommodate photographs of urban and rural settlements through the USA and World War II mobilization efforts. The project has had significant importance to society. Firstly, the project is significant to society because it presents the new and upcoming generation with an opportunity to examine and understand the role of photograph as historical evidence. Even though most of the pictures are white and black, they remarkably preserve a rich history. Modern day students will learn to understand why they were created and used by examining, thinking critically and asking questions about the photographs. Another significance is that the project portrayed the challenges of rural poverty. Therefore, it emphasized having severe discussions about poverty. As a result, the Farm Security Administration and the Brother Society, in general, stress rural rehabilitation efforts to improve the lifestyle of poor land owing farmers. The FSA also developed a program to resettle poor farmers into a group of farms on suitable land for efficient farming. Additionally, the photograph collection by the Farm Security Administration tells a story of the Great Depression era. The photographs provide rich historical evidence of how life was during the Great Depression era. It is essential to society because the project serves as a point of reference for those who wish to learn history. As he illustrated above, this project has had a significant impact on society. What was the role of migrant mother photograph in the period of Great Depression and what it is nowadays? The Great Depression is the period after the First World War that began about the year 1929 to the year 1939, whereby most world economies were experiencing opposing challenges due to the devastating effect the war had on economies. The image Migrant Mother appeared in the San Francisco newspaper during this period, which many citizens interpreted to represent the poverty, joblessness, hunger faced by most Americans. Researchers have proved it to be the America's most prolonged and most severe depression ever faced. The photographs had a significant role, which will be examined in the say. According to a New York-based research center, the stock markets in America continued to decline significantly in the early 1930s, contributing to a very high unemployment rate. The images taken at the time of my grandmother were crucial in illuminating the consequences of such economic miscalculations. When America's banks failed, many people lost their money and investments. As a result, the poverty rate skyrocketed and many people in America live in extreme poverty. The photographs on display were tangible proof of the state of affairs and the significant number of citizens who had gone down due to such effects. According to the photographs, the number of Americans who lost their home and saw living tents and temporary dwelling was evident since most were never able to sustain themselves in the previous homes and places of dwelling. Another crucial role played by migrant mother photographs was the indication of considerable declines in the production of industrial goods such as clothes, food and other household equipment which offered daily services to Americans at the time. Photographs also play a crucial role in indicating the considerable declines in the production of industrial goods and the deflation of prices in industrial goods. Did Dorothea Lynch present the truth with the migrant mother photo? Is this photo factual? Does it capture reality? Dorothea Lynch captured a non-mounted photo. It was a real moment of the mother with the children, however, it was not the total reality of that family. As they tell in future interviews, 
they passed through the city, but they did not consider themselves migrants because they were only returning. In addition, their memories are relatively happy, despite the hard days. This is reflected in the last photograph, a portrait of a mother who does the best she can for her family, but has not lost hope and still has faith in getting ahead. So the photograph of the migrant mother does not capture reality, but had a bias behind it, with the intention for people to see what the government want them to see in newspapers. Did my grandmother like the photographs? Was she happy about them and the message they sent to the world? Was her family happy with the photographs and how do they were presented to the world? Originally, Flores Thompson, the woman who was known as the migrant mother in the photo, expressed that she felt exploited. She thought she was gonna earn some sort of profit into being in these photos, when in fact, she didn't receive anything, not even the photographs. The photographer Dorothea Lynch never asked her name or even gave her a copy of that photo. Her initial reason as why she accepted to have her photo taken is to help the people out in the camps, regardless if the media didn't show any of the negativity behind all of it. All the hardships the families went through during this tragic time in history. Much like their mother, her family wasn't too keen into showing what their lifestyle was like due to their economic hardships. Catherine McIntosh, one of the Thompson's daughters, initially felt shame towards the picture. According to a CNN interview report, she expressed that she didn't want anyone to know who they were. They felt as though they would have been ridiculed for where or how they lived. That being said, McIntosh said that the photo brought determination to their family and made them grow stronger. She remembers that the photo always stayed with her mother in a solemn point in their lives. And although it showed the Great Depression, Thompson never let it define her. McIntosh explains that her mother was a very strong lady and the backbone of the family, sacrificing her own needs and traveling tirelessly from place to place in order to take care of her children and wanting them to have a better life. Thompson eventually ended up receiving some profit due to the overflowing popularity it had gained and how it helped represent what the Great Depression was like. Conclusion This project seemed interesting for us because it makes us reflect on an important historical circumstance that affected the life of thousands of people. A government project took photographs to help them act as needed by the population, but without knowing it, they capture images that now show us in detail what it was to live at that time. Images that even without knowing about the project, anyone in a museum or in the internet can see the lives and emotions of real people trying to survive, a reflective theme, more in times in which we met with COVID recently in 2020. Taking photographs of great historical events allow us to connect with the past and thus reflecting on its importance. Continue to move towards the future, because photographs are really a good tool, both artistic and historical. It makes us think of the now, as the photos of our day to day, more with the social media, in the future they could be appreciated and studied by people interested in our times.